there's a live look where all the action was last night. Bridgestone Arena. A lot of bleary-eyed Preds fans waking up this morning after a long night of excitement down there. The Preds pulled out a Game 4 win against the San Jose Sharks in triple overtime. That is the longest game in franchise history. Woohoo! And Matthew Torres, he was there at the game. Matthew, what an incredible finish. I know. I want to just stretch out my arms. It was such an early start to the day and a, really a late end to the game. But without a doubt, Preds fans, I'm sure you're waking up this morning still with plenty of energy, even though the game en ended just around 1 o'clock uh, this morning. This game will go down in history with a 4-3 win, meaning the Preds and the Sharks are now tied in the playoff series. Here's a chance. I call shot rebound. Scores. Mike Fisher. Game four is now the longest game in Preds franchise history and the first overtime win on home ice. Mike Fisher scored the final goal in the third overtime. The Preds took a quick bite in the beginning of the game when Colin Wilson scored the first goal just less than a minute in. The Sharks tied it up later, but Mike Fisher swooped in to score the second goal. Now the Sharks were leading in the third period, but James Neal tied it up just less than five minutes before the end. This led into the triple overtime, and even though Mike Fisher clenched the win, it was Pekka Rene's epic saves in the second overtime that kept the Preds above water against an already strong team. Can't say enough about San Jose too. They, they have a great team, and they 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 played a strong game. But uh, like I said, it's uh, it shows a lot of character when you when you pull out a win like this. The Preds will be heading to San Jose for Game 5 this Saturday. Game 6 will be right here at Bridgestone Arena. Tickets can already be purchased here at the box office or online. Reporting live at Bridgestone Arena, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.